places. All right, I got a little uh, gossip for you guys. Okay. True story about a friend of ours uh, over the Christmas break. He's with his chick, and this is a fucking absolute true story, and not only that, a warning to all of us. He's with his chick. He gives her this nice Christmas present. I think she went out of her way and brought somebody else home, made it all nice, right? Right. So they're all in bed together, having the time of their lives. He's on the bottom. She's on the top, working them, enjoying. Comes down hard, misses. I guess his fucking hard cock catches the taint, and his dick broke. Oh, shit. Oh, that is the worst ever. His dick breaks, snaps in the middle of this incredible pain, and his dick turns as black as Earl. His dick oh. just is completely as black as Earl, so they got to take him off to the hospital, and uh, he's going to have to have an operation. <gasps> oh, my gosh. You wouldn't even think that that His was... dick broke, oh, Fezzy. Quit saying it. His hard dick snapped. I mean, chills. Now, I can't think of the pain. I'm telling you the truth. This happened to another friend of mine, a guy I used to own a nightclub with. A fucking one of our fat-ass waitresses who could never fucking settle down when she was on top. Catches the taint. Snapped his dick. Ugh. Broke it. The guy's fucking dick now when it gets hard. I kid you not, looks like a boomerang. <laughs> if he wants to fuck somebody, he's got to go around the fucking corner. Oh, my God. That's, that's just insane that that thing can break like an actual femur or something. Like a bone. Yeah, I went and found out about this after people have done the jacking off. A lot of you pillow fuckers out there, you better be careful. You be careful banging a fucking pillow. Well, I think I sprained it one time banging a pillow, but I never broke it. Never come close to a break. You, oh. fuck, you fucked a pillow? Yes. Missionary position? Of course, who hasn't? But But just a sprain. Oh, my God. He broke his dick. Uh, it snapped in half and turned black on him. Uh, I am so queasy from this. Earl, why does this bother you? That's that's like the, the man's biggest nightmare. I'm, you got I'm, a black dick to begin with. I'm, You're the one that's fucking lucky. I swear to God, I'm gaggy. <laughs> All right, I, I got our friend lined up. Hey, you're on running Fez. Hey, it's me, Broken Cock Man. Mikey D. Oh, oh Mikey! Broke his dick. Okay. Happy and New Year. And that sick, twisted wife of yours, who's out of her mind, Mikey. Out of her mind. Mikey, I... are you all right? Um, his dick no. broke, Fezzy. <laughs> his dick broke. <laughs> oh, I can't hear it. It still hurts like a fuck. It's unbelievable. I, am I right? Was she on top, right? No. You were on... It was from behind. Oh. Okay. Is she slamming? This is how it happens. I got her a nice ring for Christmas. She was so happy. She brings over a couple of friends the day after Christmas. Two guys? No, two girls. Oh, shocking. It's <laughs> new for you. Sorry, maybe you can exchange that. So in any event, we're going at it, eh, 45 minutes or so, we're having fun, I'm going from one to the other. So you're, right now, you're in your fucking glory, time of your life. It's like, fuck, what a Christmas present, this right. is the best. Going from one to the other, I'm going to now go from behind to get my chick, all of a sudden I hear, pop, oh. and I go, uh-oh, this is not good. I run to the fucking kitchen. The base of my cock has now exploded to be three times its size. And as the night is going on, everyone's screaming, going, oh, my God, it turns black. By the next morning, it's as dark and as big as an eggplant. Oh, my God. So it just keeps swelling up. Right with dead now. blood. Yeah, it's that's the, the blood. fucking problem. It's filled with dead blood. Oh. Dead blood. And now, to make it more graphic than it is, I guess, 
halfway, you know, like half, there's a middle part of your, you know, your slung, the middle part of the dick that uh, is a little bit softer, like close to the head. That filled up with so much blood, it looked like two big blueberries were on me. And I'm calling my doctor, and I say to the doctor, listen, I was having sex last night, and this guy's an old Italian guy. He goes, very good, very nice. I go, wait a minute, I think I broke it. He goes, oh, my goodness, are you circumcised? I go, what does that have to do with anything, man? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Right. He goes, do you need anything for the pain? I go, I need to do something about the fact that my cock is broken. Now, thank God it didn't bend like your friend. It's broken at the base. Oh. So he says, why don't you come in? I go, what are you going to do if I come in? What, am I, what are you going to do? I'm going to send you to a urologist. I go, consider me coming in now on the phone. Send me to the urologist. Right. I go to the urologist, and I'm just, my head is slinking because I know they know. They just got the facts from my doctor. Everyone's looking at me as I well, walk Why in. would you care? I would not fucking care about anything. Uh, well, you know, I didn't want to go to the emergency room because my chick is going, let's go to the emergency room. I go, what? what? I'm going to go in there. They go, what's the problem? I've got a broken cock. You know, meanwhile... Fezzy, his that. dick broke. Oh, please, stop. Snapped. Uh, filled with dead blood. Oh. Uh. So in any case, he's saying that it's ripped at the base uh. and that we're going to have to wait to see if we're going to be operated on. And it looks like I could have been operated on that night, he said, but the benefits that day would not outweigh the fact if I was operated or not. We have to see what happens to it. So I am in extreme pain. This was last Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday goes by. I can't sleep. I'm, the, the pain is just unbearable. Finally, Saturday... It's How about fun. when you piss? That was the one thing I was worried about. No, when I piss, I'm good. It's okay. That's fine. But the weight of it, when you're walking around, the weight, because it's, you know, it normally the gravity points down or whatever, the weight of the cock makes the break hurt just that much more. So you got to lay down. Oh, I gotta lay down. And it, it's still, it still has now stayed three, four times the normal size. Yes. And here's the other thing: I never finished that night. So now, now I not only, oh. I have the blue balls to begin with. Right. And after I saw the urologist, I'm saying, okay, he says it's not that bad because sometimes the blood spreads to your thighs, to your ass. Everywhere he goes, we haven't spread that much with the blood, so that's a good thing. The next day, though, it spread, and now my balls are all filled with blood. So I have a different color genitalia. You to this moment, right? Oh yeah. So uh, literally, you're ready to die. You don't care right now about life. I, I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I know I have to go back to the urologist. Next Wednesday, I got to wait two weeks, and then they're going to decide whether or not surgery to repair the tear, because it really isn't, you don't really have a bone there, but let me tell you something, when I heard that pop. And it was a pop, right? It was a pop, Fezzy, man. Oh. It went it like a firecracker. Now, it's happened before where you bend a little, but, you know, that was, you know, that happens. But when I heard that pop and I ran into the kitchen to look at it, I said, oh, my. The first thing I said was, I broke it. I broke my fucking cock. Your fucking chick is sinister. You better. I'm going to tell uh, you guys, tell your women they better start in fucking respect and not act like a fucking animal. Have fucking sex like a rape victim. You want to lay there and don't fucking move and just sob to yourself. That's what we really want anyway. And the urologist is giving her the looks like, hey, wink, wink. Look what you did, baby. Like it's a big fucking uh, joke. Yeah, what's so funny? Your dick is broken. 
Earl, his man. dick broke. Uh, what's that? Earl's fucking ready to throw up. You all right, Earl? What is it? Earl, the... He's really gagging. It's coming out right now. Bring him over here. Why would Earl be so fucking crazy? Because he... This is what keeps him away from the side. Put your arm underneath him. He's ready to faint again. Bring him in here and have him hold the mic. He's... Uh, honestly, Mikey, he's got to be carried in. Oh, God. And I wish I was fucking making this up. <laughs> I'm but this guy's weaker than, than fucking Fez. <laughs> stand up and hold the mic here, Earl. What bothers you about this? All of it. Yeah, stand up and hold the mic. What? <laughs> this bothers your stomach? Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, the blood, the, the snapping sound. Here's yeah, the yeah. thing, Earl. Oh, I lived it! I want you to think of the pop of the dick. Now, when his dick broke... It started to fill up with dead blood. Oh, stop. Dead blood was Please inside stop. of his dick and his balls. <laughs> and the pain was unbelievable, Earl. And it could happen to you. It could happen to me. It could be happening right now. I mean, just picture that. All the dead blood stuffed in his balls, down to his ass, his thighs. He's hey, well, I've got two other girls here laughing it up. God, disgusting. Earl, look up at yourself there in the mirror above you and just let yourself go like this. Just spin back and forth and think about the dead blood that's yeah. all happening as we speak. And, you and there was pus in there, too, uh, Earl. And huh? Earl, you could see it and getting blacker yeah. and blacker. Dripping, dripping from his cock head. Oh. <laughs> Not to mention the two big blood blisters that showed up in the center of it. And I guess when it breaks, it gets caught up with your bowels, <laughs> and there was shit <laughs> tripping through his balls and his cock, girl. He's staying on his feet. I'll give him that. And you could just see the blood going into the balls. Now, and here's the, the thing, Mikey. Yeah. You've got to leave this woman. You I... cannot be with her. She was crazed. And I should have had the lights on because I'm, like I said, I, I missed. That's what it was. She's going back and forth. I'm going crazy. I'm like a fucking animal. She's like an animal. What'd you do, catch the taint? I, like I said, you know, it's from behind. So I'm going from one to the other. Then I go, okay. For what is one. it, Earl? <sighs> Bang. Hold on, you're down on your knees? Earl, his dick broke. Stop. And pussy dick broke. With mm. dead blood. I'll never forget the sound <laughs> the of that pop. The room is spinning. <coughs> the room is spinning. We need some video on Earl because he's about to go down again. You know what, Earl? Just relax. Relax. you starting to... I wanted to explain to you. Put your headphones on. What happened? Put your headphones on. Mike, explain what happened. Okay. Yeah. I'm going from one to the other. I go to try to mount my wife from behind. I miss. There's a pop. He hears a pop, Earl. Like a firecracker. A pop that's a firecracker. And, Earl, his dick broke. Oh, and immediately started to fill up with dead blood. So he watched his dick turn black. His balls turn black. As the night is going by, Earl, it's getting blacker and blacker. Blacker and blacker. And like a nut, I go on the internet. All right, hold on. He's gone. Is he, is he passed out? He's done. He's out. I right, try to lift him up. Try to lift him up. Earl. Earl, look at me. Give him Febreze. Yeah, he's got some. That's the worst you can do. Give him a little bit of Febreze and let him get his catch his breath. Earl. When, well, you were out there for a second. Mikey's dick broke and started to fill up with dead blood. <coughs> now, Mikey, here's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Maybe you, when this thing is over, you might not be able to fuck again. Well, get get this, Ron. Get this. Sunday. Well, uh, no, I'm sorry. New Year's night. Uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah. I said I got to do something because you know you get. Wood in the morning, like a bladder, you know, right. reaction. And then after that, it feels like if somebody kicked me in the balls all night. Right. And I can't take that. Lift Earl up. Earl? Mikey D's got something to tell you. Explain it to him. Mikey. As, Earl, 
When you wake up in the mornings, do you sometimes have an erection because you have to go to the bathroom? Well, his is all filled with dead blood and pus, yeah. sir. All right. Mine goes into an erection with, <laughs> filled with blood, and I have to go to the bathroom, and it feels like somebody kicked my balls all night. It looks like he has sneezed, Earl, and snot is hanging off the end of his dick. Only it's bloody snot. Filled somehow with diarrhea. Look at me, Earl. Look at me as we're starting to spin. It's all really bad. Are you all right, Earl? Earl, are we spinning? Earl, is the is the room spinning? Starting to turn. Take a big deep deep breath, Earl. Take a big deep breath and for breathing. <laughs> Earl, his dick broke. Look at me. His dick just snapped and broke. Uh. Filled with dead blood, pus. <laughs> And somehow shit got into it. I don't know how that could even happen from a break. I, I can't even focus. I can't even... Earl, Earl, hold on. Just relax. Earl? Earl, right? it was like a pop. Like it popped. Imagine your own dick breaking, Earl. Focus on me. that. That's what got me to think in the first place. Right. Just that, just that that your own sound. dick. Well, when That's he thought... When he, was, when he puked, right? He started puking. But somehow there was jizz and snot and shit in the pew. The shit is what I don't understand. That, it's all part of your insides. Earl, where are you going? Earl, spin it down. It's all spinning, buddy. It's the all urologist. starting to slip out of control. The urologist bent me over to look at my ass to make sure there wasn't blood coming out of my ass. There must have been something there dripping out, Earl. And the balls, are, you've heard of blue balls? I've got black balls from bad blood. All engorged with dead blood. Oh, the Febreze should help you. I'm spraying them back of my head. I need, some, I need water really badly. You need water yeah. or is the room spinning? It's both. I just, I just feel everything getting smaller and smaller. Concentrate right now, Earl, on not being able to focus. Not being able to know where you are. It's That's the like, thing. I'm trying to like make... I can't even Look up at the mirror in the ceiling. That helps you spin. Take his head and put him up towards the mirror so he can see himself spinning. And turn him as he does it. And think about... Yeah, that's going to help you, Earl. Think about your dick breaking. <laughs> it's just so hot in here. It's like a bad dance. It's just shaking his fucking head back and forth. <laughs> All right, hold on. A couple people want to talk to you, Mikey. Okay. And by the way, you've left her? You're in a hotel now? No, no, Away no. from this fucking Strega, this witch of yours, who does no longer cares? No, she's still around. Where am I going to go with a broken cock? That's true. Who would Earl, have you? Earl. His dick broke, Earl. Imagine that. <laughs> Filled with dead blood. Snot. Piss. There he goes. There he goes. Petsy, you took your hands off breeze. of him. Earl, it's all happening. It's all, it's all going down. With blood sacked, uh, uh, blood sacked uh, by the tip that, like, is as uh, big as... Uh-oh. Uh, uh, oh, Fez uh, is starting to puke. Uh, Earl. Earl, uh, Fez is puking. Uh, he's, he's out. out. How can he be out on his pins? He's out. Uh, Earl, where are you going? There he goes. There's Febreze. Uh, Earl, you Okay. What is it? What's bothering you? Oh, socks that look like berries, blueberries <laughs> on the tip of my cock. How do, I, that I don't even understand. It's lettuce. blueberry season. Uh, it, it, uh, it's there he goes. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, Earl Fez is sick, uh, though. Uh, you okay, Earl? Uh, Earl, you okay? Uh, Trouble breathing. Uh, Trouble breathing? Don't let it get to you. Uh, the pop was unbelievable. All right, hold on. Some people want to talk to you, Mikey. This, ha this happened to before. Gio, you're in front of Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. Mikey, I can understand. The same exact thing happened to me. But when when you go pee, Mikey, are they coming out like little like BB-sized like blood clots? Because that was what I used to get. Like, that's what I got. No, no, I no. I didn't, break, like, I didn't break a blood vessel. Thank God. 
I'm able oh, to... I, I did, and they were just coming out like I'd have to push so hard, and then they'd come out like... like b -b 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 Little, like, blood... BBs oh, love everything. BBs of blood? Uh, yeah. Girl, would you imagine that? You try to piss, and it's just BBs of blood? Uh, of oh, bl it was disgusting. It hurt so bad because they were just, like, I couldn't get them out. And then I push and push and push, and then they just come out like, like rapid-fire blood clots. Earl, look over. This is what happened to Mikey. No. <laughs> Earl, hold on. Put that in his hand. Hold on to it, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. the, it's the broken deck, Earl, look. But it took me three months to get it better again. Oh, God. Three and, months. And, and Fezzy, Fezzy, yeah, and Fezzy, no yeah. more blood clots. It's good. No more blood clots. Uh, JC, you're on a Fez. Hey, this happened to me about 22, 23 years ago. And I was fucking my girl. It freaked the shit out of me because... She was a freak, man. She let her always fuck her all the time. What the fuck are you talking about? How did you get through? Uh, here's, uh, here's Dan. Dan, you're on the Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Hey, Earl, I know how they fix this. What they do is stick a huge hypothermic needle in the tip of your dick and yeah. pull out this chunky brown gross fluid. It's pretty fucking nasty. Ew. Oh. Would you oh. want that, Earl? Would you want to get like some tube into your dick hole, and then another, <laughs> another needle going up through your dick? And the ligaments clumped up. Then they clumped up at the by the ball. That it's like a big cyst. Would that bother you, Earl? Big cyst on your balls? Earl, how come you're not answering? I have trouble breathing. <laughs> What's bothering you? I heard that pop. Snap a pencil. That's how it. Uh, that's how it sounded. Ooh, that was it. That was the pop, Earl. The pop of a broken dick. <sighs> Where are you going, Earl? Technical knockout. That's the third TKO? time. TKO. Yeah. yeah, he just he puts his head down. One time he actually went out, but the other. There he goes. There we go. Go on the floor, Earl, where you feel better. Lay on the floor. Like a beaten fucking dog. This nice clean floor. Yeah. Just when you look at an eggplant, that's how my cock looked like. I'm looking at an eggplant. You fucking passed out. <laughs> uh, here's uh, here's uh, Jeff. Jeff, you're running Fez. Hey guys. Yeah. Dude, this summer, it's Fourth of July. Me and my buddy were outside, you know, blowing up firecrackers. Sure. Because you're eight. The old bottle rockets, you know, the whistlers, the plastic ones. Uh huh. Well, we were sitting outside, you know, drinking some beer, and, and uh, you know, I let it went off, and it just, it was like a dud or something like that. It hit the ground. Well, when it hit the ground, it bounced back up and went into shorts. And he wasn't wearing any underwear, I guess, because it got lodged between his uh, ball sack and his thigh. Uh-huh. And it blew up. Blew up his and balls? It, well, it went in between his ball sack and his thigh, and it got caught in there, and it blew up. Well, what it did, because of the percussion of the firecracker, it blew his nut up. From what the doctor says, it exploded his nut because of the percussion from the firecracker. You see that, Earl? Earl, you okay? <sighs> What's bothering you? I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. Some instances, there it's bent, man. Uh, it's all the way bent. Uh, yeah, get some water on the back of his neck and his head. How's that feel, Earl? Better? Is that water dead blood? All right, Radio Shark wants to talk to you. Shark. Earl, Earl it might have sounded like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> Radio Shark production. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Radio Shark, stop being good. <laughs> What's wrong, Fuzz? <laughs> it all kind of got to me. <laughs> Or does that make you feel better? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, Drink it, Earl, as much as you can. Uh, God, you're puking for real? Uh -huh. You're an animal. <laughs> He's puking. I'm, one, I'm the one with the broken cock. That is true. You can puke, too. So do you ever get rid of the blue balls? 
Okay, New Year's New Year's Eve. I said to my chick, "That's it. I don't care how much fucking pain I'm in. I got to get rid of the semen that's that's, right. that's built up behind there because that's even hurting more." So, I she she orally pleasured me. And she I, sucked your blood. Yes. Fucking dead cock. Ah. Blood and all. Oh. Oh. She said it felt different, like it was a new cock, like a different cock. But thank goodness that came out. So now my balls feel a little better, but it's still all black. I'm telling you right now, you should have YouTubed her going down on you. Because anybody would want to see uh, uh, someone sucking on a fucking dead cock. I mean, it was like uh, uh, going down on a corpse. It was hard, but it looked like dead, yes. You How long did it take you to get off? Uh, it didn't take that long because um, I, I, I just, I, you know, I can't go days without doing this something. Right, sure. And remember when it broke, when I heard that pop, that was in, you know, in, 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 in the time that I... Uh, right, that was the build-up, and you're showing off in front of these new girls, so you're trying not to get off too quick. Uh, yeah, right. I think I'm a fucking big shot. You know, I'm going, hey, one from the other, hey, how's that? And the pop, and I'm stuck with semen in me, then it's dripping. There you are. Uh, Earl, where you going, bro? Tracy, Tracy, you're on Run Fez. How you doing? Hey, man. Hey, Mike, did, uh, did the doctor mention if it was that tendon at the base that you ripped? That's I had what my girl is. in the shower, and I lost control, and when she dropped, that tendon ripped. Oh, it, uh, everything that happened to you sounds like what happened to me. Yeah, it's it not... took about a month for it to get better. And they said they could repair it, but if you don't repair it, it'll still get hard and everything, but it hangs more straight out, looks bigger. Oh, so don't repair it if that's what it was, that tendon. Oh, blessing in disguise. It's, it's the tendon at... Yeah, but you don't want to fuck around with that, Fez. You don't... You know, you do not want to have some fucking California-shaped dick. That is not for you. Oh, Mikey. Oh. I don't even think I can be friends with you anymore. Oh. It's too disgusting. It's and I know I can't be friends with your wife going down on a fucking sick dead cock. She had to do what she had to do. Drink dead blood? She's disgusting. Fucking slaves wouldn't do that. I had to be relieved. Oh. All right. Maybe she's just saying, I don't know. I can't make up my mind. I'm just too disgusted by her. Uh, and here's, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're on Fez. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Hey, uh, Mikey D has now turned into a half a Hulk cock. Half a Hulk cock? Half a Hulk yeah. cock is your new nickname. <laughs> Just one side, all green. droopy. It's not green, it's purple. Uh, still? Yes! Fez, you ought to head on over there and relieve him. And now the blood is going to the tip. So there's like a little, bl as if it's like black on the tip. The tip was spared. There was no blood on the tip, per se. But as the days go by, the blood keeps on flowing down, you know, and it goes, now I've got like like a black, black and blue, black, dead blood on the tip. Ugh. How long before you can wear jeans again? Oh, I've been wearing, I don't know. I've been wearing loose things. I'd wear a fucking pillowcase with the fucking head cut out. I wouldn't give a fuck. I'm walking around, and then if you sit down too hard, oh, the pain. They give you any kind of painkillers? I got Percocets. Mm, that's a start. I'd be, Earl, I'd be shooting them right in the end of my dick. Earl, I, I ain't got no idea. I used to do that anyway. I for got a whole the, different reason. I got the perks. It's like fucking candy. Like I'm taking pens. I'm sure. And there's your wife fucking loving the dead cock. And saying, oh, it feels different. It's like I'm fucking a black man. <laughs> Hasn't she hurt you enough? I, you know, happy new year, break my fucking cock, and then say I'm a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone knows what it's like going down on a black guy, it's your wife. Oh. <laughs> All right, Earl? Here's what I need you to do. Run down the steps. We're going to start counting. All right, let's get you up and moving. Run in place, big man. How you feeling? 
<laughs> what if we had three or four fainting spells yeah. through this? I feel really just out of it right now. Here, really just stand up. I mean, that's just that's an effort right now. I know. You can do it, big man. Just think of this. Now, stand up. Put your hands out to your side like this. Let's see if you can do it. Just think of the popping sound, Earl. <laughs> See that? that helps them fade. Yeah. Hands are out, right? Yeah. And that's touch the nose. There you go. Isn't that a drunk drill? <laughs> yeah. You're doing it, Earl. Look You're back. back. Now look at yourself in the mirror, up top, and and then yeah, that's it. And I'll just start turning around, spinning a little circle. Okay. A little <laughs> some twirling. <laughs> just. Play Ring Around the Rosie with him, would you, Pitsy? Come on, Earl, you're doing it. Ring Around the Rosie. Come on, Earl. You're doing it. Yeah, there you go. Ashes. Ash. Where are you going, Earl? Where are you going, buddy? Earl all falls down. What happened, buddy? Not feeling so good? And the throbbing. Just the throbbing alone. Ah, I can't imagine the pain. Oh, yeah. The throbbing pain you've been through. Hey, Chad, you're on Run Fez. Hey, fellas. Yeah. So, you know, he's going to be lucky to be able to keep his penis. You guys know that, right? He could lose his penis? Yes, there's a very good chance to lose it. Mikey, did they tell you that? Oh, we lost him. I'm sure he's gone. Yeah, there's a there's a spongy tubes on both sides, and what it is is when it gets engorged, it's so stiff that you can break it and fracture it, and this, it's a blood collection on both sides. Why can't these fucking women uh, realize they're not fucking around with a dildo here? This is a person's penis. It's very fragile. It is fucking fragile. You gotta watch out for it because it'll sneak up on you. You're having a good time, and then all of a sudden, there you go. There's only You're... one way to have sex with a woman, Fez. How's that? Well, I, I imagine you wouldn't know. <laughs> but here's what you want to do: you need to, to protect your penis. You tie her down. You put a knife up to her fucking throat. Doesn't have to be sharp. It's more about the play acting. I go if you move at all, I'm fucking slicing this. You need to have rules before yeah. you start. Stop. Yeah. Form that if you break it, I can sue you for this. Right. Or uh, whenever she comes, you make her yell out her dad's name. And that, I know it seems wrong. I know that seems sick. But sometimes it keeps her under control. I'm back. Mikey, how, I'm so, sorry about that. This guy said he's a urologist. He said you're going to end up losing your cock. Uh, my urologist didn't say that. I don't know about amputation. Was yours in Queens? Yes. Do yourself a favor. Get in the fucking city. I'm not going to let some fucking half Greek, uh, God knows where he went to medical school, urologist, fuck around with my my black broken dick. I wouldn't do it, would you, Earl? No. Upper East Side, that fucker. Yeah, maybe. Get on the fucking uh, subway. Come into the big town. Get I your broken dick to Park Avenue. Uh, I don't think I can make it through the subway. Is that right? Yeah. You icing her down? Oh, I had to ice it down, and then I had to, I had to you know, go in the, the hot shower and put hot water on it, you know, ice and heat, ice and heat, and it was just, the first, like I said, the first few days, it just got worse and worse with the blood just gorging on, on there and getting bigger and bigger. The ice actually didn't help because that's what made the blueberries come by the tips. You know what? You should probably talk with Dr. Steve. Oh, uh, maybe I'm sure he, he can could help. understand what is all happening here. You, you think he can help? I, I don't know if anyone can help you right now. Well, I don't know. Next week I'm going to go again. I'll try one more time, this guy in Queens. And you can't stay away from that wife of yours, all right? She's crazy. i got to use a bad word here. Who? And I'll just fucking leave it at that. I guess I'll agree with you. All right, here's a doctor who wants to talk to you. Oh. Dr. B, how are you? Doing good. Yeah. What do you think about my, uh, Mikey D? I think Mikey needs to see another urologist. There's uh, no legitimate guy that wouldn't fix that thing right away. It, uh, it's dangerous to, to let it go. The chance of infection and its risk of impotence is going to go way up the longer he waits. He needs to have it fixed now. All right, did you hear that, Mikey? I heard it, but 
to the urologist's defense, like I said, he checked my ass, he checked my thighs, he said it wasn't yeah, bleeding that he wasn't bleeding that much. Got nothing to do with how much you're bleeding. You got a tear in what's called your corporate cavernosa. That's what it ain't fix itself. It's got to be sewn up. You need to God take that damn. care of that now, Mikey. You're going to fucking lose it. Well, he said to, that we could have done it that night, but he said the benefits don't outweigh it. What? You know? Get out of fucking Queens. You know what? Here's the thing. If I want to get a Greek salad, I'm going to go to fucking Queens. Right. If I'm interested in the best Italian ice in the world, yes, Queens. Right. Mets game, Queens. Operations on my cock, I come into Manhattan. That's a good thing. That's a fucking 212 operation. Broken cock, go right to Manhattan. <laughs> I do not play fucking games like you, Mikey. Well, I didn't know it. With it. That's the reason not to wait. He's suffering with it. Nobody would make him, should make him suffer like that. The, he, he's at an abortion clinic having a guy look his cock over. He's like, oh, don't worry. It's fucking dead like the fetuses I'm finished with. Forget that. But I'm Earl, imagine this. Is. You go down and take a uh, fucking piss, right? There's a dead fetus where your fucking cock should be. Oh. That's what Mikey Boy's dealing with right now. No, not Mikey Boy. Oh, Mikey D. Please. Mikey Boy's fucking enjoying himself. His yeah. is fine. Here's what scares me, though, about that wife of yours. When is she going to be out looking for action on the side, Mikey? Well, like I said, she's already figured she has a new different cock for herself. It's disgusting. Oh, she's uh. disgusting. God New Year's Eve was big for her. She said, wow, this feels a lot different. And it's black, too. To boot. To boot. It looks like a boot. All right, Mikey, please get out of fucking Queens. So I should go to Manhattan? Yes, go to Manhattan. Oh, I don't boy. even know how to bring it up to you. Get it taken care of, then come by and we'll all sign the cast. Okay. All right, talk to you later. All right. Peace. It's a fucking terrible story, isn't it, uh, Earl? Earl, please talk to me. It's like you're ignoring the show. I, I'm just really out of it right now. What's wrong? I'm really... What happened to you? just have, like, no sense of anything right now. Would you... Would this be better for you if you went into the surgery with them and you broadcast from there? No, uh, that would not be a good idea. And all I want you to do is take some paper towels, and whatever's coming out of his dick, I want you to dab it. Whether it's snot, cum, piss, or that diarrhea shit that he has. Look at her. Look at Fez. Earl, look at Fez. I know. I can hear <laughs> Why are you doing that, Fez? For fun? Sort of. <laughs> Just to annoy Earl. Yeah, but it feels good, too. It's like a little purge. You wonder why you get called homeless all the time? <laughs> why that comes up? Ah. Let's take a break. Run a fast show. Run it.